Frack on. Welcome to another episode of Frack the Canon. I am joined by the co-host with the most, my brother from another mother, Mr. Sidney McCree from Milwaukee. How are you doing, good sir? What is up, friend? Not much. We're just here, you know, just watching trailers that we caught up on, you know, being adults, kind of like, whatever, let's we got time to react. Let's nerd out um, to some of these trailers we saw. And so right now we're going to react to, I guess, the first Latin American superhero getting his own movie. Like, I can't think of anything else, but... But the blue beetle. I don't know how to think you know, all these, <laughs> all these, all these trailers are reacting to. You know, back in the day, back in our day, you used to have to watch a whole ass movie to get all these trailers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I right. Back in our day, back when we were kids, kids, um, you had to go to a movie to see just a trailer and then leave it. Like, for example, you had to go to the you had to go to, the to watch the one trailer and then you would leave. Not no more. <laughs> Not no more, kids. Spend a whole, spend a whole five dollars on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna react. To the, I can't. I can't beat that. All right. We're gonna react to the Blue Beetle trailer that was released by the Distinguished Competition uh, yesterday, uh, April third, April fourth, April third, April third. Okay. And we are hitting play in three. Two, one, play. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, everything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet, bro. You're high you man. They don't get out much. <laughs> Jenny? That's my wife, but do not open it. You went in to get a shop, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. He's on your back! Get off! Get off! Hey, man. Who said that? Okay, it's gonna be okay! Oh my god, oh. the suit. Oh, oh my face. Free entry systems it looks ready. Like really good, eh? This ain't what you want. Watch it, too. This ain't what you want. 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 What is going on? I just wanna run. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I think I cut a bus in half? The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. That low you feel for your family makes you weak. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Nice choice. I just wanna... It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to run. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's like, like well, Ted Cord stuff, right? I saw that too, right? Because, like, that was like Ted Cord's, like, Blue Beetle ship or whatever he's going to call it. Yeah. The Blue Beetle Mobile. Like, so, so, remember? And, like,. <laughs> I mean, I'm wondering how, like, this seems like it might even be, like, a little more comic accurate, right? Because, like, then there's, there's, like, they this was the thing that was in, this is the thing that was in Ted Kord's possession. But, exactly. like, so from what it's, I read, like, later, mm -hmm. 
uh, find out it's like an alien or whatever. So I remember when I when we were in film school and I I'm like we sorry I'm like I, have, I think I'm like I forgot you're like you can't someone 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 said to me or us come up with a uh, Blue Beetle movie and I'm like this is it like it's Ted Cord's come up with a new Blue Beetle and I remember I pitched this to you I'm like he finds the scare up in his in Cord in Cord Labs he's been the Blue Beetle but he tried to open it and it couldn't open it so I'm like I pitched this I mean I'm I'm not saying that I'm not saying they stole it from me because I'm not. But I'm like, it's a very common idea, right? I'm not, it's not the most original idea mm -hmm. in the world. But I'm like, dude, I, okay, so I'm like, I feel vindicated. I'm like, yes, my stories don't suck. Um, but <laughs> go ahead. Um, but I'm like, go ahead, go ahead, I go think ahead. this looks, I think this looks really cool. <laughs> um, and I think it's like the perfect movie for DC to release right now because it has, it has something that they have been lacking, like that they tried to capture with Shazam. I still haven't seen the second one. But it's something they tried to it's capture really with Sh Shazam. It's like this... Uh, like the kid, the teen, like fantasy superhero movie. And Shazam is fun, but it, it doesn't capture that all the way. Um, this looks like it might. Um, this looks like it might capture that. Under mm -hmm. Shazam kind of wanted us to have you got this kid, he gets this extraordinary power. This looks like the better version. Like, when I was thinking, I was like, oh, I was like, oh man, this looks like kind of what they were at, but like a better version of that. Also, version of Venom. Um, <laughs> but it looks cool. Like, the, the suit is super comic accurate, you know what I mean? Like, I, it looks cool. Like, mm. it looks like a good time <laughs> when they, um, when he's transforming, you know what I mean? I was just like, this song does not belong with these images right now. Uh, <laughs> like, towards the end, when they're like, okay, like, you're supposed to be kind of hype about, like, him, you know, being able to be, you know, it was like, I was like, okay, and I, I can see why you chose that there. But he's like, transforming, he's like, it's a horrifying scene <laughs> that's happening, you know what I mean? And, like, they're playing this song. I was like, I don't know if that works. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Here's the thing. I like it a lot. I like that it's a Hispanic family. And that's something that's something very accurate too. Like you most Hispanic families, like, we share what's happening with us. Even though we'll try to hide it. But like that was pretty cool. The fact that they have George Lopez on I'm like, that's, that's really I like the fact that they have George Lopez. Um, <laughs> um I really like the whole family vibe. Like I think they're doing it better than Shazam did. And I love Shazam. I love Shazam too. Um I think this is a really, really good. It it, it just like it looks like oh my god, this is the, like the first. Everything about this like freaking pillar looks awesome, dude. I'm like, oh my god, this is something I wanted to see for the long. And I'm not even a DC fan, like we know this, like we're Marvel guys, but like, I, like we, dude, I think I sent you bottle the first issue where Jaime Reyes shows up as a Blue Beetle. As a, no, as Jaime Reyes and a Blue Beetle, Don't, didn't I? Maybe like that's one of those that kind of falls through the cracks. Like that, I, I like, I, I like the character. I feel fondly for that character, but I don't, yeah. I don't remember my introduction to it. So I feel, I feel like Judge Man, that's cool. I like that the kid from Corbett Kai is playing him. Uh, Solo, I forgot the last name right now. But I'm like, okay, this looks like so far the most faithful that I've seen of all the DC stuff that's coming out lately. Um, I'm excited. I will and be I, there like, for it this. Doesn't, mm -hmm. It doesn't look like I don't know, right? This is trailer one. It doesn't look like he's fighting like Black Beetle or something, right? You like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It looks like he's just fighting like I don't know, so whoever, right? Some super villain. I, I think it it's cool, like, if we start there and then go to, okay, he's like, an, it's a, he's actually an alien, and there are other, like, bad versions of him out there. Yep. I think it's cool if we start here and then get to that, you know what I mean? Like, so you don't have to, like, rush. Like, From uh, what like I got... you're always talking about how Green Lantern kind of rushed, rushed to Oa, right? Like, you don't have yep. to rush to outer the outer space origins of this thing you can just kind of be like here's like a, an origin of it but there's more to unravel later you know what i mean like and i think the story cool. is this based on the trailer alone i think from what i saw on imdb i just went to the credits like who was playing who who's in it Susan the is playing ted court's sister and in the trailer she says that belongs to me so i'm a feeling that i think she's the main bad guy she's the main villain give me back my scare give me back my blue beetle and then I think at the end of two, we'll see, she'll get her, like, here's another, you know, more powerful than the blue one or whatever. 
right? Because it has to be like, in my planet, I'm a pussy. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> You've got that's always a uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's always a winning uh, motivation for a character. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I think so far. So far from what I saw, I think it was really awesome. I think, um, yeah, because you said Ted Court, like I'm like, oh, this old court, like that, like, like that's Ted Court freaking, like his whatever Blue Beetle mobile, whatever it was called. But I'm like, I, I know this, I know what that is. How did he build one? I'm like, no, it's gotta be Ted Cord, right? It's gotta be Ted Cord, right? That's what I was thinking when I saw it. That's what I was thinking because yeah. I didn't expect to see anything like that in this movie. Like, any, I expected them to introduce Jaime Reyes as Blue Beetle, like as very much it's like he's the only one kind of a thing. I didn't expect him to get introduced like there is he's there is another Blue Beetle. Like that was before him, kind of a thing. Um, I I very much thought it would be like you know just origin, probably more something more like a Green Lantern origin. You know what I mean? Like he yeah. finds the thing, it makes him this thing, and now he's this is kind of this thing. You know what I mean? Like, but I I do think it's interesting. I think it's cool that they are tying it to like a greater, you know, if not DCU, Blue Beetle universe. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I do think that's cool. Um, I like I said, I don't know how I'll be done. Like I say, but this looks cool. The only thing that kind of makes me sad is the symbiotic suit that, like, that well, I'm like, I came up with that for my Power Rangers story, but or maybe I got it from Blue Beetle and I didn't know. But I'm like, hmm, we'll see. What did you call that? What you call that what? A symbi what? A sim what? A symbiotic suit. Symbiotic, huh? Oh, interesting. Hey, just uh, <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you pronounce that biotic? How do you pronounce it? Uh, uh, I would, I would say sim. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess it doesn't really but, matter. You know, how would you, how you, you say it again? How would you, you shut up? How would you, how would you, <laughs> symbiotic? Yeah, that's so, It's symbiotic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> We will take this offline Whatever. today, not in front of the public. Wait. <laughs> Whatever, Doctor Scarth. <laughs> I have so much sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. Any final comments, final thoughts? <laughs> nah. Um. Uh, well, my final thought is pronounced symbiotic. Frank off. Because <laughs> he's wearing a symbiote. Symbiote. It's symbiote. Frack off! Sixty hundred block. I just wanna rock. I just wanna. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Hit it once, no time. Side up, you gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wisely. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, five.